Hi there, my name is Dan and this is a free clip from my larger Microsoft Word training course. Check out the link in the description or go to bringyourownlaptop.com for more. All right, in this video, we're gonna look at adding text up the top here. And the cool thing about it is that it's not being forced to be, uh, it can go anywhere it likes. Okay, that's the big thing is I can say, be there, be there, be there, be anywhere I like, okay, without having to play around with margins and columns and all sorts of other nastiness. So um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do in this video. Let's go and do it. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to insert something called a text box. That allows us to kind of stick text in it and move it wherever we like. And we're gonna stick an image in as well. Okay, so one thing, uh, first thing we need to do is if you're on home, jump to insert, okay, the insert tab. And along here, you'll find eventually there's one called text box. Now, what you might notice is that yours might be looking slightly different from mine in terms of this ribbon along the top. Okay, that might just be because you're using a smaller screen size. Look at the layout here. They're all kind of side by side. But if I minimize, can you see Word's kind of clever and tries to get them all in still, but kind of reorganizes them into smaller icons. Okay, so you might be looking, yeah, you might think you've got a different version or things are looking heaps different. It's just you might have a really small uh, screen you're dealing with. Okay, this is a nice big HD screen. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go back up to the size. Text box, there's a few different options. Okay, the first one is just the one we want. Okay, you can have a look through the other ones. There are lots, okay, are different options that you might have in terms of like these random text box pre-styled. Okay, so simple text box. And it just dumps wherever your cursor was. Yours might be at the top, it might be around. So don't worry too much about that. Okay, so what we wanna do is a couple of things. So there's two things we need to do. One is there's this document, okay, and there's the anchor. The anchor is like where he's connected to in the document. We wanna kind of move him around. So there's two things we need to do. One is the anchor should probably be at the top here, the beginning of your document. You can just drag it around. It stays in the side here. Okay, you can move it anywhere you like. Um, we'll talk about the importance of the anchor a bit more in a second. And in terms of this box, if you click on the edge of it, okay, not the inside, just the edge of it, you get this little icon. And that's the thing we need. Click on that guy. Okay, and in your layout options, what we want to do is we want to uh, make sure it's this one here. Uh, so it's, text is going to wrap around like we're doing here. But um, I want this one here says fixed position on page. Okay, nothing really changes. So I'm going to close this down, except now I can move it around. Whereas before, when it's stuck at the uh, move with text option, it's, it can only go as high as the margin. So let's go to fixed position and move it up to where we want it Okay, for our details. So we're gonna put in our text, you could type yours in here. I'm going to go to file, I'm gonna to go to open, and I'm gonna to go to browse, and I'm gonna to go to desktop, I'm gonna find my word exercise files, and I'm gonna open up my business address. Click open, okay, I'm gonna select it all, go up to here and go copy, close this one down, then select the text in here, okay, delete it, and then hit paste. Okay, now I'm using Control V, Control C. We're gonna use that more and more in the class. It's up to you though, you can use up the top here. Okay, under, oh, under Home, there is Copy and Paste up the top. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to right align it. Okay, because I want it, I just want it to be right aligned. There's no official rule. Okay, I just want it to look nicer. So I'm gonna select it all and we're gonna be at Home. Okay, and you can see along here, there's the different paragraph rules and I'm gonna align mine to the right. Okay, now we need to play around with the space after because there's big spacing between all of this. And I know you can go do it by yourself now because you've done it in an earlier video. Go forth, do it. If not, can't remember, go to remove. It's up here, this icon here, and go to remove space after. Now, if you've got a really long business name, I've got the world's longest business name, bring your own laptop. But say it's like bring your own laptop, bring your own laptop. And you can see it's kind of breaking on lines. You might have to adjust the box by grabbing this edge to make it a little bit bigger to fit everything in. You might have a big logo that's gonna go in in a second. You can adjust it that way. And um, you can do the same with this bottom part here. Okay, so I'm going to undo, undo a couple of times. You can see when I hover above it there, it says Control Z. So I'm using that shortcut to go back. So I'm gonna undo it until I'm back to my regular address. Last thing I'm gonna do before we go is there's this black box that comes by default that I don't like around the outside. You might love it, okay? You can click on the edge of it, okay? Not the center, the edge. And what you'll find is, can you see this thing that says format? It wasn't there before, watch this. I click down here, gone. If I click on the edge of this, it's what's called a contextually sensitive menu that appears only when uh, I've clicked on the edge here. It's gonna give me extra options for formatting this box. Click on it. There's a bunch of ugly presets. Sorry, word. Okay, but um, I'm gonna go through and you could add a fill. 
Oh, hell. Okay, looking good. I'm going to say uh, no fill, and I'm going to say the shape outline. I'm going to say no outline, and that's what's going to give me just a nice simple box. I can still grab the edge and move it around. Okay, I can decide that that's where I want it. Okay, uh, yeah, perfect. Now, the last thing I want to show you before we go is that little anchor. We kind of mentioned them earlier. If I click in here, okay, um, and I click on the edge, you can see this little anchor appears. So click on the edge of your box, there's this anchor. Is he important? Well, he's not as important now because we've done this option where we say fix position on page. So we can move him anywhere we like. Okay, the trouble is, is that he needs to be there. It's kind of like, that's his home base. That's how he knows where to kind of, he knows he needs to be up and right of that. Now, the problem is, is if I go to where it says Daniel and I hit delete, that's fine, okay. And I start retyping it, but watch this. If I grab all of this and delete it, can you see I've kind of highlighted it and it's also grabbed the anchor and you can see it's kind of, um, it's highlighted up there as well. So if I hit delete now, bum bum. Okay, I do that all the time. Um, there's no way of kind of like forcing it to stay there and never delete. Okay, you just gotta be careful. If things delete, it's probably because you've gone through and just deleted this. Now, where's a good place for this anchor? Wherever you are likely to not change. Okay, so maybe uh, you can change it so that this anchor point here, uh, double click him. Where are you? Click on you guy, click on the edge. There he is there, drag him down. He could be there. It doesn't really matter where he lives, but you can delete him just as easily. So just trying to find a bit in your document where there's a little anchor doesn't um, end up in a bad spot, or at least try not to delete him. You probably will. All right, let's move on to the next bit. We added image up in this text boxes here, and we'll look at images in general. All right, I'll see you in the next video. How'd you find that video? Was it good? Was it bad? If you liked it, go check out more of my courses on bringyourownlaptop.com.